Hey guys, this is Mason, co-founder of RS3 Sports here, and this is part six, the final part of our spinal engine series. I hope you have enjoyed all the videos. In this video, we're gonna go over rotation. Rotation is commonly seen as the most important aspect for growing athletes, rotation of the spine, and rightly so, rotation is very important. Many coaches test T-spine rotation because we need an adequate amount of rotation in order to throw hard. Why do they do this? Many studies quote hip shoulder separation is correlated with velocity. From driveline baseball, we learned that about 33 degrees of hip shoulder separation is the average in their 90 plus mile an hour group. So meaning you need your pelvis to be open and you need at least 33 degrees from this back elbow to this back hip. That's gonna be very important to accelerate your torso. Hip shoulder separation is primarily related to torso angular velocity. When you create stretch, you create rotation and side bend, you can accelerate this torso. And this leads into the double pendulum. The double pendulum, you can think of the arm as a lever and one segment has to decelerate for the next segment to accelerate. And so in the double pendulum here, the torso rotates fast. And once the torso starts to decelerate, the arm can accelerate accessing higher arm speed, which will lead to more velocity. We like to think of rotation in terms of rubber bands. You can have a short, thick rubber band who doesn't get as much range of motion, but they have more power. So you don't pull the rubber band as far back, but it can snap harder because it's stronger and has more potential energy. But then you can have a long, loose rubber band, think someone more like Jacob DeGrom, where you can stretch and stretch and stretch so maybe this pitcher will have 45 degrees of hip shoulder separation, but that's how they produce their velocity. They have to stretch farther back in order to release the energy. There's no right or wrong here, but you have to know your strengths and weaknesses and then train accordingly.